the real power of the platform uh, is being able to build your own AI application for your use case. So let's go in and have a look here at this. We've called it the webinar project. Uh, this is uh, yeah. This contains images that James scanned a bit earlier and sent across uh, to Ecos earlier. And so if we have a look here, we can go in by clicking on the image. We go into the image viewer, <coughs> and these are pretty pretty large images. Uh, and at this <coughs> at kind of this zoom, you you really you, you kind of can't can't see a whole lot. We just wait while that loads. But then if we if we zoom in a little closer, you can see that the cells actually become much more apparent. <clears throat> It'll take a moment for for the, uh, the, the in focus slides to load there. Uh, but you can see all these other, I guess, you yeah, know, marks on the slide here. So these are specifically uh, annotations and also around the annotations, a thing that we call a region of interest. So in order to, to train your AI application, uh, you will need to annotate the cells uh, within that image. It's, it's coming into focus now, so my internet connection a little bit slow. Um, you need to annotate the features in your image, and in this case, it's these cells. Yeah. Um, so to do that, we use these tools over on the right hand side here. I have a quick um, question for you, Phil. Yeah, um, yeah. In, in terms of annotation, how many images do you need to annotate or, uh, to train an AI, yeah. and how many annotations? So with Ecosa, you can you could train your own AI app with just with two images. So you need wow. one image for training and one for validation. Now I'm not necessarily recommending that uh, that yeah you go with only two images, especially if you have more. I mean maybe maybe eight to eight to ten images is a is a good uh, eight to ten images is a good number to start with. Um, but you can do it with two, and then. You know, you'll see with the, the app that, that I trained a little earlier, we we got some really nice results with about a thousand annotations, so about a thousand cells annotated. Uh, again, if you wanted to make a really robust application, I'd probably you know double or maybe maybe get to about three thousand annotations. I've found over time I can annotate, you know, if I'm hand drawing annotations around cells, about four hundred. 350 to 400 cells an hour. So there's a couple of hours work, but if you've got a team of two or three people, it's it's easily achievable uh, in an hour or two to annotate more than enough to train a really nice app. And I think the the beauty of it, right, is that these users who are who are joining us today, you know, they can just sign up for free and do it and and kind of do exactly what you're going to be doing right now. So I, I did post the link up. Just wanted to let everybody know. Um, but yeah, just everything that that Phil can do you can do so yeah and probably better yeah <laughs> yeah so um, you can see here that uh, the annotations are in green and that's because we've assigned uh, labels to them so we need to assign labels to the annotation so that when we train the AI it, it knows or it can assign uh, labels to what it's finding so I've just called these these green ones a cell um, so we use these tools over on the left here I've just used the free hand drawing tool uh, and then you would you know just draw around the cell that you wish to, to annotate. And what I haven't done is turned on the draw and assign button. So you'll see those have gone orange, which means they don't have a label assigned to them. So <clears throat> I would need to now manually assign labels to each of those, which is a bit tedious and unfortunate. But to do that, I simply click on them and then click the tick box next to that, that label. The other thing uh, that's worth talking about here is what we call a region of interest. So in this slide, as you can imagine, there are you know, thousands and thousands of cells. Um, you saw how far we had to zoom in to, to really see those cells. So <clears throat> this dotted line here is what we call, uh, we've drawn around a, a region of interest. That means you only need to annotate what's inside that region of interest. So instead of sitting here for weeks, uh, months annotating cells, every single cell in an image, you just draw a region of interest uh, and then you only need to annotate everything that's in that region of interest. So toggling over here and again we we draw around what we've annotated. You do need to annotate everything in the region of interest, but it's as simple as that. These regions of interest, to be fair, are probably a bit small. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend larger regions of interest so the AI learns some context. But these are two key concepts you need to understand about annotating, signing labels and then drawing these regions of interest. But then it's as simple as that. So once you've done that, uh, as you saw in the image library here, there's there's uh, seven different images. Three of them have annotations. So 
a bit over 300 each, so around about a thousand annotations and some regions of interest. Uh, and then we can go ahead and train train an application. So we choose a COSRA AI over here, new training. Again, this is in the free trial. All of this functionality is fully, fully available. There's nothing, nothing that's restricted, so you can do all this yourself. We select the project. In this case, it's the webinar project. We have two different training types, a semantic and an instant segmentation. Um, we do have a knowledge base and a help pages to explain everything about uh, what these two different types are. In this case, we want the instant segmentation because we're detecting you know, individual objects, they're counting them, they're very close together, sometimes even touching, so we choose the instant segmentation. We only have one label type, so we select that. And then when you train an AI algorithm, you do need to split between training images and validation images. So the validation images are when the AI basically takes what it's learned and compares what it finds in an image against the annotations that you've made in that image. So in a COSA, you can let a COSA randomly split that, usually something like 80-20, uh, or you can manually assign which images you wish to use for validation. I usually just leave it on random unless there's a really good reason to go for manual. We have 2D images here. And then we select the images we want to uh, train with. There was three of them we noted that had annotations, so we select all of them, and we want to make sure that we train on the regions of interest, not the whole image. So we tick this box as well. We have two types of training, quick and, and extended. Quick training's finished, 15 minutes. <clears throat> it's great to understand, you know, uh, uh, are you on the right track? Do you have enough annotations? Are you getting some decent results? You know, is the AI going to work for your use case? And the answer is usually yes. Uh, quick training is fantastic just for, for you know, finding that out. And once you're at a point where you think, okay, I'm, I'm happy now, uh, you could move to an extended training to really squeeze the last bit of performance out of the, out of the algorithm, but that could take up to six hours. So that's something you probably want to do at the end of the day and, uh, and leave it go home and come back and have a look in the morning and again like uh like the image analysis when the training's finished you do receive an email to let you know and then we we review it so we give it a name uh, and then pretty much start the training so let's select that button and it's it started so the page has taken us to now the training overview page it shows all of the different trainings that are available uh, within this account or so within this organization. The one we just submitted is here at 0%. It's queued uh, as the training starts. That obviously moves around to 100 uh, and then eventually you get a, a nice green successful and 100% and 